The Cedar Fair Entertainment Corporation currently owns 12 amusement parks, and we will be discussing all of them in today's video. Many YouTubers love to do videos discussing the next possible roller coaster for each and every amusement park. But for today's video, we will be going a little bit darker and more grim as we discuss the next roller coaster removed from each of these parks. And just a heads up, everything in this video is my opinion and my opinion only, and do not get upset if your favorite roller coaster ends up being on this list. So let's start off this list going in alphabetical order. Our first park is California's Great America, and contrary to popular belief, I do not think that Grizzly will be the next coaster gone. Instead, I am pointing to their 1976 aero looper called Demon. The majority of park guests do not like Demon and call it a rough and uncomfortable ride. I am in the minority of people who actually really like aero coasters and want them to stick around for as long as possible. But since California's Great America is 100% developed, that means that they have to get crafty and remove old and outdated rides to make new ones. However, I don't see Demon getting removed for at least the next five years. Our next park is Canada's Wonderland, and again, despite contrary belief, I do not think that Flight Deck will be the next coaster to leave. I do think its days are numbered, but the coaster I am actually choosing for Canada's Wonderland is the coaster that sits right next to it, Time Warp. This coaster has been known over its entire lifetime for being an infamous dumpster fire and is almost universally hated. This coaster takes up a tiny plot of land, so I have no idea what they could do to put in this spot, but anything would be better than Time Warp. A park as good as Canada's Wonderland does not deserve a crappy coaster like this. Send this one to the dumpster. Our next park is Carowinds, and almost everybody agrees on Nighthawk being the next coaster to go. This is a Vacoma Flying Dutchman that actually was relocated from California's Great America. Since Vacoma has discontinued this model, it is extremely hard to get replacement parts for it. This coaster will be able to hold on for a few more years because of all the parts it got from Firehawk, but I don't see it lasting for more than five or seven years. Our next park is also the flagship park, Cedar Point, and almost everybody agrees that Wicked Twister will be the next coaster to go. The more likely option is that this coaster gets relocated to a smaller Cedar Fair Park like Worlds of Fun or California's Great America. If you go to Cedar Point, this coaster will most likely have a line, but that is just because of the slow dispatches and one train ops. This coaster has severely low ridership. And to add on to the reason of why this will be closing, the back spike has to be removed every off-season due to some law regarding the beach. Again, I do see this coaster lasting for a little bit longer, but I do see it being removed by 2022. From one intimate impulse to another, we are going to Pennsylvania for Dorney Park. Plans have shown that Dorney Park's intimate impulse coaster, Possessed, will be leaving at the end of 2020 to make way for a new modern wooden roller coaster. Unlike Wicked Twister, this coaster actually has pretty good ridership and brings in some good money for the park. But from what I've heard, this coaster can really be a maintenance nightmare. And as of now, it's all but confirmed that Dorney Park will be removing Possessed in 2020. Our next park is King's Dominion. And even though they just removed the fan favorite Volcano the Blast coaster in 2019, I don't think Avalanche has much more time left. This is a 1986 Mock Rides bobsled coaster. And even though this is a pretty nice family coaster, it just does not fit into the surrounding area and is located right next to Volcano. I do think that Avalanche will end up getting removed in the next two or three years, but that is to make way for a new addition, so Kings Dominion fans do not get upset. Our next park is also my home park, Kings Island, and I think the next roller coaster to be removed is Invertigo. I do think that this will be a package deal with Invertigo and Congo Falls being removed since they are right next to each other. But Congo Falls isn't a roller coaster, so it's not going to be on this video. Invertigo suffers from a lot of downtime and is usually criticized for being a rough and uncomfortable ride. I personally don't think it's very rough, and I quite enjoy Invertigo, but it is just extremely forgettable at the park. And apparently, three guys driving up to the park claim to have seen Invertigo get stuck upside down in the vertical loop. 
This has never been confirmed. I do think Invertigo will be safe for a little bit longer because we are getting Orion this year, but I don't think it has too much time left after that. Our next park up is Knott's Berry Farm, and as much as it pains me to say this, I do believe that Accelerator will be the next one to go. Even though so many people love this ride and it usually gets up to two hours wait time, this coaster suffers from extreme amounts of downtime. This was the prototype Intamin Accelerator in one hell of a prototype type it was. I do think Accelerator looks like an awesome, fast-paced ride, but I do believe its days are numbered. Again, I do think Accelerator does have some life left, but I don't think it'll be around for too much longer, and it probably isn't in the park's 10-year plan. The next park on our list is Valley Fair, and I think almost everybody agrees on their next coaster to be removed is Excalibur. This is an old aero coaster that gets surprisingly long lines and high ridership, but rumor has it, Excalibur was gonna be removed for a water park expansion, but luckily, the park found another spot to put in their new mat slide racer. This coaster also suffers from being unbelievably short and pretty hard to get to since it's located at the back of the park. Our final park is Worlds of Fun, and almost everybody I know agrees that Boomerang will be the next coaster to go. It is a simple Vacoma boomerang and is actually the second boomerang in the state of Missouri, accompanied by Boomerang at Six Flags St. Louis. From what I hear, this coaster does not get long lines at all and is usually a walk-on, even on crowded days. So help out the poor people of Missouri who have to deal with two boomerangs by removing this one. Plus, the one at Six Flags St. Louis looks cooler. So, that's about it from me. Do you guys agree with the placements on today's video? Probably not, but that's okay. Comment down below your thoughts on the next coaster to be removed from each Cedar Fair Park, and anyways, I'll see you later on Hang Time Thrills.